Um, I guess, Ben, as I've got the privilege of being on the flip side and asking you the questions this time, Nick, um, I thought I'd send in a more controversial question, I guess. And, and what are your thoughts, particularly around Naomi Osaka and, and not wanting or not um, feeling that it's appropriate right now for her to be taking part and doing media, um, you know, given what she says um, around mental health and things like that. I'd be interested just to get your perspective and, and insights um, being on the other end of that. Yeah, the, the Naomi Osaka situation is, is so interesting because it's highlighted so many different areas that not everybody is aware of. So instantly when an athlete says, oh, well, I'm not doing that anymore, a lot of people came out and said, well, you've got to show a little bit of um, respect to the people who are ultimately, you know, um, funding the tournament. So be that the sponsors, be that the broadcasters and that, you know, an interview is, is part of that. But then when you look into it in a little bit more detail, you start to understand why perhaps she's, she's been feeling the way that she has. You've got to remember as, as a Japanese athlete, there's been an awful lot of attention on her and others and her comments about whether the the game should be taking place this this summer were kind of taken a little bit out of context you know she was thrown a load of, con uh, of questions earlier in the in in the summer about whether the game should take place and she was part of an answer was she, she in part of an answer she said she wasn't that sure and then that has been blown into this this huge story and is then subsequently quoted in every negative or questionable story there is around the games this summer and the should it shouldn't it happen so she's been drawn into that in a way that she would never have wanted to be uh out, you know through, through just answering a question um of many that she was thrown so when you start to understand that and also the the obviously the, the mental health struggles and the, the stresses that she's that she's talking about then there has to be a level of understanding as to why she wanted to take that step back from from doing interviews. I think the important thing is is to try and find that balance. From my experience, you know, I've, I've done Wimbledon a few times, and tennis interviews can be really odd in a way. They're not sports focused all the time. You do get athletes throwing some real curveball questions that you don't see in in other Olympic and Paralympic sports, or even in you know in, in football press conferences. It, it's it's an it's an odd blend of kind of sport entertainment politics all sorts of things so that that has got to be really difficult for an athlete to process so you know as a journalist you want an athlete to be there to be to be able to answer the questions but i also you know from from the athlete's perspective and, and just a human being if, if this is you know causing her great stress then then there needs to be an understanding and i just hope that kind of a balance can be found and there's a way of sort of bringing her back into the realm because it is important athletes answer difficult questions and that everything isn't you know super easy all the time because that's where you get your, your interesting content from but at no point should an athlete be you know feeling depressed stressed um the way that she has felt from doing mixed own interviews and, 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 and press conferences so as i said hopefully they'll, they'll find a solution sure uh, that sounds uh, yeah, very very balanced and yeah something that i guess that people will just have to take in consideration for the future um, Nick, that's pretty much all the questions we, we at the BAC wanted to kind of ask and we really do appreciate all your insight, your input, uh, experience in the world of media, particularly for athletes um, that will be going out to Tokyo, but then also thereafter we've got the Winter Olympics, we've got major championships, world championships still going ahead and the back end of the year as well. So I'm sure the athletes will find this very, very informative and very interesting. So thank you very much. Um, Best of luck out in Tokyo. We hope that you uh, you enjoy it, and despite all the you know the difficulties around movement and, and things like that, um, for any athletes watching or listening, um, then you can contact the BAC for, for further questions or further support, whether that's independent or confidential support, and you can do that by emailing at support. Uh, no, so you can do that by emailing support at britishathletescommission.org, or you can visit um, the website as well. Uh, on the support page there. Nick, thank you very much. I'm going to pause or stop recording. Absolute pleasure. Uh, from my end.